Hello everyone. Okay, so this is a further um, update video on some more Paul's Boutique items I have. Let's start off showing you some. So the first one I've got is a large pink Macy bag. It's a really nice neon pink. I've not actually taken off some of the paper. But it's got a nice collection of charms, as you can see there. It's a good size bag actually. I mean, I've heard that you can like take it to school and put you like your paperwork and your laptop in it. So it's got nice. I'll rip this off. Okay. Oops. Okay, so it's got this key there. Uh, it's got the front. It's got the pool around. Pool fatigue plaque. Okay. Inside it has leopard print inside has some pockets as well. What's on there? Tissue paper. So on there is actually a really popular bag. I've seen a lot of people around town with this sort of bag. And obviously I think a lot of the girls like the pink but they do come in other colours like um, nude which is like a yeah, clear colour and black and purple. But this one here is quite popular. So that's number one. It's a good size bag and that one there is about £50. Second bag is quite popular as well actually. I've sold a good few of these ones here. This one here is like a pink like crocodile snake skin. It's got a chain link handle. Oops, the last thing I for. So there's the front there, it's got the plaque. And the charms up here, I've put two charms. Oh. That's that one there. I've sold many of these in purple. I think purple's been quite popular but Oh, that's it. So that one there, I, I usually sell these ones about £35. And this one's like excellent condition. So that's the second one. The third one is, I had one of these in the last video, I think. I need to unfold it really, but this is a pink and white Barbie zebra skin, that zebra print bag. On the back, it's got the Barbie little label. On the front, it's got the Barbie plaque. And the charms, which include a nice big Barbie charm there. Now that one there's got the little side toggle there, which is easy to open, I think. And inside, it is zebra print as well. Ah, there. It's a good sized bag, actually. I've seen a couple of people have these bags. But they are actually really popular. I think they're limited edition ones, but that one there is available as well. Next one is a new one I got recently, which is really popular. This one's brand new. This is a Potty Padlock Barbie bag. There it is, the big one with its original little label, which says Twister Black. It's got big charms, got the big Barbie head. This is a really nice, fashionable big bag. Black, patent black with pink patent handles. So that's that one there. I think these ones here I tend to sell for like £100 because like they're no longer available. That's a really good, nice bag. That's like brand new, that is. So that's that one there. Next one. Next one is similar to the last one in like um, colours. There's a Barbie one as well, but it's just a smaller one. So this one here is the black and pink Barbie bag. Oh, there we are. Just smaller. It's got the toggle clasp like the pink one. And it's got a nice print on it. Seeing PB and Barbie. So that one there's got the charms as well. The big B with the little diamante stones. Okay, so anyone's looking for one of these bags, you can see what size they are. It's quite a decent size. The next one is another Barbie one. It is a gold Barbie one. Oh, it's dirty. I haven't cleaned it. Oops. Oh, I'll break it. Aye. They're quite strong, actually. So this is a gold Barbie one. Same as the one I just showed you in black, but this is the limited edition gold one. I think I showed this in my last video. But this is another one I've got. So, oops. Exactly the same as the other one, but in gold and pink with everything like that. 
So these bags, when they were for sale originally, were probably sold for about £100 because limbs editions, but I'm a lot cheaper. Okay, the next one is actually more of like an older style bag than to sell. I haven't actually seen these for sale anymore. This is like, um, I don't know how to describe it really. It's got a big badge there. It's got, um, I don't know, it's like a quite puppy design. On the back, it's got the little bar, um, oh, Paul's Petite thing, Magic, there. This one didn't come with charms, but it just, it just, it comes with the badge. Anyway, so it's got a nice chain link interwoven with the fabric, which is nice. My mum had this one here, but she doesn't want it more because she's upgraded. So that's that one there. The next one, oops, what have I got left? Oh yeah, I bought this from ASOS.com. I thought I'd try them out to see what sort of stuff they sell. So it came to me like this in the ASOS box. Oops, like that. And inside, really good value actually, is this purse here. Brand new with the charms. A really popular purse, this is. Paul's Boutique. Oh, where am I? On the thing there. And this one here from the website, I think it was on sale as well. This was like £10. This is really good. It's like brand new. Inside, ah, oh, I've got a knife out. It's gold. It's got the large chain here as well. So you can wear it. Um, yeah, it's a shoulder bag. But that, that was that one there. That's for sale as well. So it just shuts like, oh my goodness, I'm rubbish. Shuts like that, and you just twist. Oh dear. That thing. There. All shut up. And that one there is the Ruby Purse in Muted Leopard. Mohoho. <laughs> So down there was £10, and on the website, on the Petit website, I think it's about £35. So, that's quite pretty good. So that's really good. Nice. Now, I have got some other items as well, which are like, um, I wanted to compare to Paul's Boutique. For example, I bought this on eBay, and some people absolutely hate it, and some people like it. So this is like a padlock bag in yellow with floor design, and it's got large skull fellow there being all happy in pink it just says boutique on it and this one's called the fashion boutique it's not Paul's boutique it is fashion boutique it's got a large padlock it's got a key yeah, it's got a key as well and all the way around it's got a floor design with yellow so that one there is only 20 quid if anyone wants to buy about that just email me but brand new that is inside the bag it's like that colour. Like weird. I think it's like it's very similar to Paul's Petite, the um, leopard pattern, but it's not as nice. But that is that one there. That was brand new. But I wanted to compare because there's a lot of people who like um, are selling stuff like Paul's Petite because it's so popular. And obviously they decided to go with this design. Next one I have. Which I'd wanted to compare to is a Anna Smith bag. And it was quite nice because my mum liked this one. I thought she'd like it, so she bought. I bought it for her. But she didn't like it anymore. It's got a really nice, funky, large ring charm. Look at that. So it's droops there, droops there. And it's got the Anna Smith to the front. It's got like a nice. Diamante sort of thing there. And that bag there has got like bows at the side. It's a nice bag. And that one there, 20 quid. It's got, I like that. But that's not on there, brand new. The next one I bought, which I thought I'd show everyone, is um, like a genuine Louis Vuitton bag. Now, obviously, I don't know too much about Louis Vuitton, but I'm going to do some research into it. So this, oops, this is a Louis Vuitton bag. Oh. I don't know what it's named as. It's like known as like some sort of speedy. But that's that there. And that is all the items I got today. Anyone's interested, just email me. And um, 
I'll do some more videos about some more fashion and Paul's Pitella comes soon. Goodbye, guys.